Welcome to Blue Phantom Simulation Studios. Today, I'm going to show you how to remove the tissue inserts out of your training models and how to put them back in so that if you need to take them out to refill them or replace them, it can be easily accomplished. And it takes about two to five minutes to accomplish this task. What you'll need is a cup full of soapy water, about 20% soap and the rest water, a 10 cc syringe, and some paper towel. Now what you'll do first is draw up about 10 mils of the soapy water so that you can inject it into the conduits in the back of the, the insert. So I'm going to tip him forward and I'll put in about 5 mils into the back conduit. Now I don't infuse that into the tubes themselves, just in the space around the tubes in order to make the tubes slippery. Once I put that in, I'm going to roll it around so that the Soap can coat those tubing. And I'm going to remove the hand bulb. I, I do this by depressing this little metal clasp, which will easily pop off of the model. I'm going to tip his head off to the side, and I'll gently apply pressure to remove the insert. The tubes will slide easily out if they're properly coated with the soapy water. You don't want to apply too much pressure because you don't want to pull the tubes out of the tissue insert. Once that's done, go ahead and set it aside and take your paper towel, place it in the back of where the tubes come out, and then you'll pour out the extra fluid that you infused in there. Now this is an easy way where you can refill your insert completely if you have to or if you're replacing your insert it's easily replaced what you do is take your soapy water and coat the tubing if they're not already coated you place the tubes in the corresponding holes in this case, the arterial hole is medial, and you can see it easily slides into the model. Now as you reach a certain point, those tubes are going to come out the back of the neck, which you can see here, and you can either apply light pressure or continue just to push them through. Now once that's done, I'm going to seat the insert into this proper location and I'll just gently apply pressure here to get that base of the, the insert in position. Once I position that properly, I can tuck it back in place and that's all there is to it. You take your, your pump bulb apply it back to the fitting, you should hear a snap, and then you're all done. If you have problems with this, don't hesitate contacting us, as we're always glad to help. Thanks, and we'll see you next time.